enjoy this pistol um it looks very nice um so with that being said let's um tackle the box we do have a few friends in the range we are in a safe and controlled environment we are at the gun range i said that quickly so we can get that out of the way um early okay so cardboard box it is what it is but it, the packaging it's uh, pretty well put together inside the box. So in the box you have some, oh, I told y'all I had three pairs of gloves. We're gonna try these. These are specialty tactical gloves. Glove station, specialty tactical gloves. We're gonna try these, see how we can control that, um, this pistol. Now, in the box, it comes with your lock, your manual, a few stickers. You have a key in here. It has quite a bit of um, little documentation in here, so you want to make sure that you cover everything in your um, bag. It does also come with one magazine, but they are preloaded, so I just why I have that to the side. And your pistol. Now. This is a Gen 1. These are, all right, firearm is clear. There she is. Very, very attractive. Now, had it had a brace on it, it would probably be even an even more better shoot. More better, is that a word? Or just better? Probably would have been a better shoot, in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is at this point. But they give you some really nice uh, optic, uh, optic grip, a good real estate optic grill on the top of the firearm or on top of the pistol. You have your pin sight or your little circular. I think this is, oh yes it can. It can be adjusted for distances. You have your short distance and your long distance. Let me turn this this way so that you can see. So depending on how you're shooting is what it is that you would choose. Your, pin, your front post sight is a nice sight. I enjoy that style. It's not an average um, AK type sight, but they are still good. As long as you have your pin right in that hole, you should be dead on. Now, your hand guard covers is something that I enjoy a lot. This sh will and should keep in a lot of heat. Let me push this out so that you can see how this works. If I can, let's try this side. There you go. So underneath these rail covers or these, this hand guard, a makeshift hand guard, you have pick rail space. So you have it at three, nine, and six o'clock. You can make this as tactical as you want. This is the Gen 1 that gives you that option, which I like. Now, you do have an 8.3 inch barrel pretty nice in my opinion um uh, it would definitely or is definitely a draco killer off rip i did do a quick clear check let's just do another one so that you can see the bolt is extremely nice and smooth you do have your safety um it is can be safety you have safety where you can engage it with your thumb and you can also engage it with your finger on the right side they're not the softest but is okay now your overall length is 18 inches from front to back 
decent length um chambered in 762 by 39 so i already know this is going to have some really nice kick to it um anything of this statue meaning this short with that type of caliber in my opinion a brace or a stock or something on that order would definitely make the shooting experience a whole lot better but whatever it won't change it's not here at this point there's nothing that can be done six pounds weight unloaded so when you put um, your magazine in there you probably would get some more weight on that and then you have your chrome lined cold hammer forged uh, steel barrel pretty much that is all to it your mag release down here it's you know AK style mag release your trigger uh, I'm not sure what the poundage is but I will let you know how the trigger feels once we get inside feels like it could be hmm. I know one thing for sure the reset is not long at all you see that so that will be nice I know AWI does a great job uh, great job with their triggers so that's pretty much it we're shooting tool ammo nice dirty tool we have our magazines preloaded i did already say we are in a safe and controlled environment we are oh look at Bill. look 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 look, look. <laughs> we are at the gun range enough talking yoke let's suit them up so we can set them down range all right these are the uh, glove station tactical gloves the gloves that i had before they were like the airsoft i like those because they were kind of thin and because we were shooting the desert eagle i felt like those were more appropriate for that and these tactical gloves it has like a leather palm and then it has like this rubberized on the knuckles so i'm assuming if you needed to punch something or uh, break some glass this will do the trick interesting and i do have one more pair i'm glad i i, I think i like them all right so them up yo you talking too much my gloves let's go Chancletera. <laughs> all right, all right, now. Yeah. One more thing that I didn't mention. Um, the charging handle is actually on the left side. And you know, like the standard AK, it would be on the right side. And I think I like this. Not that I don't like the um, underhand charging. I think that one of my favorite parts of it. But this just being on the left side makes charging a lot easier. So that was something that I meant to uh, bring to y'all attention. I don't know why. I mean, I t not that I, y'all know, I had not even a beef with um, Draco, but there's so many other options, and this is an option uh, that is killing Draco, killing it, and it even looks better. Look at this. Looks better, and I can guarantee you 100% it shoots better. 100. Okay, so we got this out. Our magazines are pre-filled. Y'all know we had an issue with this painted magazine. Uh, we, I don't think we're gonna have an issue with this, but we have pretty much all standard. These are pro, uh, P mags, and it comes with a P mag. Okay, so let me send my target back. Suit these hands up. I love this little hook right here. They feel good and it has a little scrunch. Yeah, I'm getting into all this tactical stuff because it is important. Depending on what it is you, that you're shooting, you have to have a good um, glove to keep that nice firm grip on what it is. Control heat, whatever it is. But we're gonna find out okay. if this piece right here 
is gonna stick to this grip. I didn't say anything about the actual grip. The grip is smooth. It does have, I think this is a compartment under here. If I'm not mistaken, but yeah. All right, shoot, shoot. All right, I'm gonna start some mess. Who's the better shooter, women or men? Drop it in the comments. I think in my opinion, a woman is a better shooter. Why? Because she listens. All right, let's get that out. Again, shooting things that are not braced is a lot more difficult, but just you gotta stick with it. Target and let me know what you think. Why does this one seem like it's so high? All right, so these were my first two shots. Had to get in the groove, had to get that sight picture on point. But once I did, once I did, I was able to knock the center out. Absolute great shoot. Control is there. Um, it does have recoil, but um, it, it's not that recoil to the point to where you, you're fishing for your sight to, to get back on target. Uh, I think that was excellent shooting. Let's see if we can just bust out the green and uh, let's do it again. I'm having a little bit of slipping with my grip, uh, my fingers on the front because it's pretty smooth. It doesn't have anything there, but uh, that's all right. Might not be the glove for this type of pistol, but anyway, let's load it up. All right, so we're gonna use the painted magazine and we're probably about 10, 13 yards. And we're going to uh, finish clearing that circle. <laughs> See how well we do. Okay, it charged nicely with the painted magazine. Y'all know I'm not really into it, but, you know, we got to try it with everything. I'm not done. <sighs> now trying to get that sight picture at that distance. Yeah. All right. Two, 
the first go around, so I got two more. Shooting kind of left before I got into the groove, and we did did pretty good. That distance, no brakes, iron sights. I think it's good. I think it's good. What y'all think? All right, we got that part figured out. Set up a new target. Let's connect this trigger a little bit. Loads beautiful. Charges fantastic. It's only six pounds unloaded when i put the magazine in it does change the weight not substantially but i can feel uh the weight difference i can tell try that it'll probably come back and hit me in my mouth. <laughs> Burn is real. <laughs> Now, now, I 
tell you in a second. Shoot, let's look at that target. Oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. About 13 yards. Iron sight. No brace. Yeah, I got a few stragglers here and there. My arm was getting very fatigued. Um, but for the most part, I think that was excellent shoot. All right, so let's clean up and let's go talk on. So, what did y'all think? I think it shot extremely well due to the circumstances. Um, but Anything in this pistol form definitely needs an SBR, a brace, something of that form um, for it to be very, very, very comfortable. Now, back to my gloves, my glove station gloves. Now, there's so many different gloves to choose from. I wasn't 100% sure what it was. I was just going off of looks and I was like, oh, it says tactical. OK, I think this is would be the right thing for me to get but they were not the right. Now, tactical, if you're going out there and you have your AR and you don't have, you know, obviously brace or whatever, and you're running and you're doing all that shit, okay, fine, and you break a glass, this is what this is for. But as far as me trying to keep a grip around the handguard in the front of this Galil, because it's so smooth, I was not able to get that grip that I was looking for. Now, maybe if I had my airsoft gloves, they had the texturized, uh, texturize something in the grip, texturize grip on the fingers that probably would have worked out better. But I think they're pretty cool looking though. Just not for this. But there are so many, that means I just gotta buy some more. <laughs> That's all. All right, but I do have an, another pair too that I wanna try out. But I thought sure that those would have worked, but those, this, these are not for this situation. Now, Back to what we were talking about. I know she's very hot. And do a quick clear check. I don't even have the strength in my arm to do anything anymore. All right. She's clear and what a shoot. Although I was shooting with my arm extended, clearly away from my face, I was afraid that it might come back and bop me in my mouth. So my arm was quite extended and that's how I kept getting so fatigued, I kept having to stop. But had this been break, even, even though it wasn't, I think my shots were spot on. The shot placements were excellent. The recoil was manageable. The grip felt nice. It's not overly wide. It's a nice slip. It's almost like a pistol grip. Um, Masada, maybe? Yeah, it has a nice, soft, uh, slim grip to it. The mag release is great. The charging is beautiful. The sights are fantastic. Now, had I had an EOTech or something on that, of that form on here, and I was, ow, that pick rail is hot. And I was able to actually wrap my thumb around the, not just the handguard underneath, but around that pick rail too, the gloves would have been perfect. But because I needed my front post sight, so I had to keep my finger down to the side and it just was not uh, working out for me. But we would definitely find the right glove for that. But as far as this Galil, chambered in 7.62 by 39 pistol, it's a Glock, I mean, listen to me Glock, 
<laughs> Dang, y'all, you don't like Glock that much? This is definitely a Draco murderer. Wow. If you were ever interested in a pistol that shot 762 by 39, this is definitely one that you must look into. Even the trigger, the trigger is nice and smooth. The reset is there. Excellent job, quality. Qual when you look at this, you, you see quality all day long. And the charging, let me let y'all hear this charging. You hear that? You hear that? Quality, very nice. And like I said, these rail covers, you can take them off. You can put your flashlights, you can put whatever it is that you want on here, you can add to that and um, replace them, take them off, put them on, whatever it is that you want to do. Absolutely great. The sights are a hundred times better than those Draco sights. But with that being said, what did y'all think? What did y'all see? Um, do you own one? If you do, let me know. What have you done to yours? Um, let's talk. Let's, let's, let's chat it up. But before I let you go, y'all must go subscribe to Yoke Gang Hunts. There's two hunts on there currently. Y'all have to go check those out. Now, if that's what you're interested in, I know a lot of people, yo, when you finna start hunting again? When you finna start hunting again? I know it's more than everybody who's been watching. So make sure if you wanna see hunting content, you go over to Yoke Gang Hunts so that you can get that hunting content. Hunting content. So you can get that. Satisfy that hunting need. And we got a couple nice, nice hogs. So go check it out, leave a comment, let me know you're here, let me know what subscriber number you are. <laughs> I saw that subscriber 187, thank you for subscribing. But anyway, yo gang, y'all already know I love y'all for life and I love it when things work. Peace.